And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved ones, today is the 13th day of March, being sat today with three of Lent and year B of the church calendar. Our readings will be coming from Prophet Hosea chapter 6, verse 1 to 6. Our response Psalm will come from Psalm 51, but the response will come from Hosea chapter 6, verse 6. And our gospel message will come from Luke Gospel chapter 18, verse 9 to 14. Their message is, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. It's only a humble person can seek for mercy. A person who admits is nothing who is, that is guilty that will ask for mercy. Not a person who believes has done nothing wrong. The prophet Hosea is reminding all of us that because we have sinned against God, he has struck us, he has healed, he has Wounded us, but he will heal us. On the third day, he will revive us. On the second day, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us up. And what do we do to do this? Is to press upon him to know him. Because his knowledge goes forth. Is to know him. To press on to know him. Because his going forth is very sure. If you come to him, you are sure. It's like a shower. It's like a spring of Rains and waters the earth. What do I do with people who don't believe God, Ephraim and Judea? Your love of God is like a morning cloud, like a dew that disappears earlier. And that because you're not looking into the word of God, that's why the prophets will heal you with their words. That's why I slay you with the word of God. What I really desire from you who are sinful is that you come to me for asking for mercy. Not say you are offering me sacrifice. What I desire for you is to have knowledge of me, not burnt offerings. You are doing in a, shallow, in a very shallow form, with, not even with your whole being. When people who are living in this form of life, who believe they are doing so well, they go about despising others that are not doing well. Self judgment. And that's why Jesus has to tell us a parable today in the gospel message. Luke 18, 9 to 14. Said, There are two men who went to the temple to pray. One of them a Pharisee. Another one is a tax collector. And the Pharisee entered the temple, stood up, and said, I thank you, God. I'm not like other men. I'm, on a, I'm not a, an estotterer. I'm not a daughter. I fast twice a week. I pay my tithe in all I had. He was praying to himself. He wasn't talking to God. He was announcing his sacrifices he's making. His tithe is offering. His fasting is offering. Everything he's doing. Never ask himself, what have you done to the glory of God? And because he looks out on every other person. He said, I'm not even like the task collector here. And the task collector himself didn't even raise his eye up. Or beating his chest, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, Lord, a sinner. Have mercy on me, Lord, I'm a sinner. Jesus said, I tell you, this man went to be justified with God. The other man went to empty handed. And now, why is was telling us today that what I want is mercy, not sacrifices. What I want is knowledge of God, not burnt offerings. And because you, you don't know the mercy of God, you don't know the knowledge of God, that's why you are full of yourself. And Jesus told us, anyone who exalts himself will be humbled. And anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. 
If you admit you are inadequacy, God will show you mercy. If you go before God to tell him you are righteous, you are making a, a deadly mistake. Who can be righteous before God? And now what the Sami who understood this so well did say today, I desire mercy and no sacrifice. We are all sinners who are falling short of the grace of God. When we come before God, we tell him we are sinners. We are sorry for our sins. Ask him to show us mercy. Not to go to God and tell him you are ah, and doing everything well. And raising your heart up and tell God, I'm a very holy person. I do so well. I do wonderful things. I've been preaching in your name. I've been healing in your name. I've been casting the most in your name. And people have been falling down before me in your name. Oh. The other ones just need to answer me, sinner. Or worthy of anything. You go home. God will answer your prayer. If you arrogate things that to yourself, you'll be humble. May God help us to know today that what God desires from every one of us is mercy, not sacrifice. Desire from all of us knowledge of God, not burnt offerings. When you are not in this direction, you become full of yourself and despise others. And you will be humbled for that. But if you do, desire me, if you take God to show you mercy and not have knowledge of God, you will be humble and he will exhort you. May God help us to understand this today and leave it out. So that, leave it out and make people to know about it. So that the mercy of God and knowledge of God will accompany us. We ask through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of you. We celebrate the mercy of God upon ourselves and knowledge of God in our lives. In the Father, not the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.